What's up, guys? Welcome back to another Cryptocurrency Alliance Bitcoin breakdown. Today is Tuesday, and we are going to dive into some Bitcoin charts today. I want to thank you guys for showing up again. Thank you guys for taking 10 or 15 minutes with us every day to learn about chart analysis, to learn about technical analysis, and see what is going on in the crypto markets. So, whether you guys are new, or whether you guys have been, you know, introduced to the markets for quite some time we have some great videos for you we have some great value i'm excited to be able to give away here on this youtube series um so we're going to be able to hit, hook, hook you guys up with our analysis let you guys sit alongside us every morning on what we think is going to happen what kind of moves we're making we're also going to drop a couple of hints here and there about some crypto that we are interested in buying or are currently already entered into so um, here at the Crypto Alliance, guys, what we're trying to do and what we're, what we're actually doing is creating just a community of a bunch of different great traders, a bunch of different people in their own different markets as far as uh, you know, mining and, and ICOs and all these different ways to make money inside the crypto market. You know, it's a diversified field of experts that we have. So you know, it'd be smart for you guys to join us inside the Alliance in the members only area and figure out more about what we're doing because this is just the tip of the iceberg guys this is just a bit of the information that we're able to provide for free some of the free value we're able to give to you so with that said i want to dive right into today's bitcoin breakdown but i want to make sure you guys remember that at the end for those of you who stay we have two free gifts for you guys um a free uh web series helps you train on the ins and outs of bitcoin uh and also a free ebook Called the bitcoin consumer guide that i'm super excited to be able to give to you guys that we put together for you guys it's a must read for anybody trying to make it inside the crypto market so stay tuned and see you guys inside the charts all right guys and here we go let's see what we have going on today break out the weekly chart as usual lovely 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 bullish candle almost matching the candle previous to it One thousand one hundred and twelve. Almost there, guys. A couple hundred bucks off. So, can we see that match it? Can we end up above the MAs? And can we get back up inside this trend line to become a lot more bullish, guys? This candle was amazing. Um, let's see what it looked like broken down. So, yesterday's daily candle so far. Is six hundred and sixty two dollars now if you remember yesterday we talked about the move was a huge spike to the upside I think it's gonna be followed by a wick call me crazy um, I just need to see a nice nicer retest um, I'm not satisfied with this consolidation um, you know the way it came down the way Bitcoin's been moving um, it likes to trick you it likes to get bull traps going on this very well could turn into uh, a bull trap here not saying that it is guys I kind of follow Bitcoin day by day level by level um, we have broken into this bullish area I mean the downtrends clearly clearly broken the uptrends clearly um, holding up well here but I would really really like to see some additional downside so I think what's gonna happen is either we're gonna get this this is gonna become this a nice long wick like we called yesterday and we're going to see that downside, maybe not all the way back down here, but we are going to see a nice retest of some sort. Um, I haven't checked the RSI today, but I will with you guys now because I can guarantee you that Bitcoin is extremely overbought and the market just needs some sort of a retest. So let's see how that looks. But, you know, we did get that huge spike. That's what we called yesterday. Huge spike to the upside. Um, and then a possible possibility of a, of a retest coming back down to the downside. So we are in that bullish zone. We have crossed the 200 MA. We have not finished this candle. So later on today, if this holds up here, we are very likely going to see some continued upside. I am not finished with the downside just yet, but I am now speaking about being bullish. You guys haven't heard me say that too much at all since I've started with the Alliance or uh, started doing these uh, daily videos because I've been completely bearish. I'm still bearish, but now I'm more 50-50 uh, because we have entered a more bullish zone in my eyes. 
Uh, so, guys, let's take a look at some more charts. We had the pinpoint here yesterday, all the way up to 80, 80 uh, excuse me, 7,800, which was our first target. Um, yesterday, 8,400, after doing some analysis, uh, was, an, was another good target. Um, it held up. You know, that's where we could see that spike come back down from. We saw some consolidation over here to the left, some areas that uh, had some trouble getting through, kept spiking to. Um, so we expect that here. Can we just start going sideways again here? I don't think so. I think we're going to see some downside. How far? I really don't know. Um, I'd love to see at least come down and touch this 7,800 area, maybe hit the inside of this trend line, create a wick down here and bounce off. But, um, you know, we talked about the RSI being completely overbought. Um, let's take a look at where it's at now and see. This one doesn't want to work. Let's try this one. Okay. That one doesn't want to work either. I don't know what has been going on with TradingView lately. But let's see. We'll get another one working. No, no, nothing wants to work. Well, that's nice. Okay. Well, we can start try something else then. Give me one sec. Let's see if it works here. I don't need that one for now. Okay. We can't use um, indicators today. Trading view. It's kind of weird. So guys, what we're looking for, at least, we don't want to go long on the top. Uh, I can guarantee you, I'm going to look at my phone right now and see where the RSI is since we can't see it on here. And I will give you an idea. The RSI is at 92%, guys. Um, that's extremely oversold. Um, I have my RSI marked at 90% uh, percent because anytime you get in that area, Bitcoin has to just fall some. I mean, it's just completely overbought. That just means too many people have been buying it for too long, and it needs to be corrected. The market has to make corrections. It cannot simply sustain a bullish um, you know, track forever. Um, it did do that back in uh, 2007, 2017 last year. I mean, in 35 days, it took off from 10,000 to, ne to near about 20,000 on most exchanges. So can it happen? Yes. Um, do I think it's going to happen here? No. Um, I hope not. <laughs> I hope it doesn't happen like that again. So let's, uh, let's, let's hope for a more solid and more sustained bull run, one that actually retests and looks good, um, follows market structure, does the things it's supposed to do. That's what we're looking for. So let's see if something like this happens, guys. Let's see if we can get back down to at least the 7,800 area um, that we did break through. We did get some consolidation here. Not too happy with it, as I mentioned. We want to see uh, something a little more like this. We are seeing a nice little doji here um, that could result in a reversal back down here. Do I think it's going to completely fail? No, but if it does break down inside, we might see some stairs headed back down to the downside temporarily until we see some more bullish action. So guys, I did say that we were going to cover some other things um, as we go along during these Bitcoin breakdowns because as Bitcoin becomes more bullish, I think other tokens are going to start breaking out and uh, other coins are going to start breaking out. We're going to see some huge movements. You know, you get them 100% movements, 200% movements, and that's what we're looking for. We're not going to get 100% 200% out of Bitcoin, but we're going to learn where the market could potentially go by watching our favorite king of all crypto here, Bitcoin. So... Guys, what we're going to look at here is Cardano. You know, I've always liked Cardano. I made a lot of money on Cardano last year. I think uh, we're a little late on the entry here. I, I, I entered mine around 2,000 sats. Um, so you guys should be looking for an entry right around here. Um, I would put my stop loss. Um, you know, this is what I'm doing. My stop loss is right in here somewhere. You know, give it a little room um, to play. So... I think we're going to continue this this track we got going on here. We got sort of a trend line going here. Um, you know, every time it hits the trend line, it sort of bounces. Um, we also have, you know, I'm, I'm a big fan of the RSI. For some reason, it wants to work over here. So we could get a little bounce off this RSI here, maybe something like that. Um, bullish movement this in this direction. So uh, I'd be looking for. You know, at least 100% on this. I don't know how long it could take, but this is a nice little area for this to break out. I mean, it's already kind of broken out of this little downtrend here, working its way over, retesting the low here, retesting the trend line on a daily. 
Let's see what it looks like on the four hour real quick. I don't want to get too much into Cardano, but I like it. And you got to realize, guys, that that news came out uh, of the release maybe of Coinbase. So this is something to look at. This is one of those five tokens that can be put onto Coinbase, one of those five coins that can be added to Coinbase in, in the coming months, which can be good news. There was an immediate 25% pump when that news came out. We shared that recently. So guys, keep looking. Keep uh, an eye on um, Cardano and also the other ones. I just like this right now because I think this is where we're going to get that breakout or we're going to get some upside action. Um, I think if it does fall, there's some even better entries that you guys will want to be looking for at other support areas um, that we can look at back over here. So if it does fall, don't get discouraged, guys, because um, we're looking for this to be a uh, pretty big move in the coming months. So there's other supports. You know, there's support here. You could buy at around here. You know, that's a nice little, uh, a nice little, nice little entry. So I'll be looking for other other areas. If this does in fact break out, don't get discouraged. Uh, if it's, even if it's a stop loss, don't be discouraged here. Um, we are looking to buy this long term. It is going to be a great um, a great profit maker for us, just like last year. I mean, I think we had like a sixteen hundred percent return um, in this run here last year. You know, right here. I forget how much of a return it was, but I caught every bit of it last year, and then I also caught this one earlier this year. So we thought this was the bull run, didn't happen, fell back down, also made a higher high though. Um, you know, it's making upwards motion. So I think we can see, you know, something similar to this. Again, would be great. So I think it's coming soon. If it does break down, look for that other entry in these areas, in these support areas, um, because this is going to be a big one this year. Keep an eye out for it, guys. And we will um, real quick check out if we can see Bitcoin. Um, RSI because it is working over here. I want to erase that. And right here, what it looks like is RSI. the daily RSI all the way at 75. That's an oversold ter territory. Four hour, more of our temporary trades here. I like to trade in the four hour. And we are again at 83 on this RSI. I got mine set up a little bit differently, but it gives you an idea, guys. You don't see Bitcoin in this area much. So if you look here, you know, when it does get in this area, over this purple area here, purple 70. So I like to list mine up here at 90. You see what happens when you get in that area. You see a nice dip. And you don't see Bitcoin get up there too often. So let's get it here at 70 or 82 where it's at now. And see what happens when Bitcoin gets in this area. And this is why I'm saying what I'm saying. Bitcoin gets in this oversold area, we see a nice dip. Get up above this purple, we see a nice dip. We see a nice dip. I'm looking for that dip, guys. Um, we could see some continued upside before that dip. But once that dip happens, I'm going to um, continue to, to buy um, some smaller positions into Bitcoin, but I am going to continue to rack up on my other coins and my other tokens. So keep an eye out for all this, guys, and keep looking at everything from every angle. Um, today wasn't, you know, a much of a trade analysis. Every day is not a Bitcoin trading day, guys. When I see a setup, I'll tell you guys how I'm taking it right now. I've taken all my profits um, from the longs that I took before. Uh, I got stopped out on my short that we talked about. Keep your eye on everything, guys. We could, I'm looking for that downside. I would take another entry if we saw it. Um, but right now, I'm kind of just riding Bitcoin's wave and checking out some altcoins. We did mention some of my favorites right now, and we will continue to go over others later on in another Bitcoin breakdown. Okay, guys, I am back, and that is all I have for you today. That is the Bitcoin breakdown that we have for you on this Tuesday. Thank you guys for showing up again. Want to let you guys know below, like this video, um, comment. Did you guys like the uh, analysis? Did you agree with my analysis? If there's something that I missed, can you throw um, some comments in the, in the field below to let us know how you felt? Because like I said, guys, we're trying to get as many um, great traders and uh, just kind of spread the wealth, spread the information, spread the knowledge in this community. So Come back tomorrow. For those of you that are still here that stayed to the end, we have two free gifts for you guys. We got the Bitcoin Consumer Guide 
that's totally free to you guys. Like I said, it's a must-have for anybody trying to make it in this crypto market. We also have a free web series helps you guys train on things that are going to give you guys some more insight on these crypto markets and Bitcoin itself. So click the link below in the description or simply go to BitcoinConsumerGuide.com forward slash YT. That is for YouTube. That is BitcoinConsumerGuide.com forward slash YT. That is for YouTube. I'm your crypto coach, Dave. Th thanks for showing up again today, guys, and I will see you on tomorrow's Bitcoin Breakdown.